Hey guys, I'm so excited for today. Today we are going to be doing a meerkat. Who would have thought? So this was a request from a girl named Caroline and she wanted me to do a meerkat. So we're going to start off with right in the middle up, upper, we're going to be making a soft triangle. So first look at mine first to see how it is. It almost looks like a guitar pick. So you're going to make it look it's soft. Why I mean soft, if I made a hard triangle, it'd be like this. So we're just kind of curving the edges to make a nice soft triangle. And now he his eyes are looking that way, but his face is this way. So usually I go straight down the middle, but we are going to make his center line right there. And I'm gonna make his center line up a little higher because this guy's looking looking over there, but his face is pointing that way. So on either side, let's draw, let's draw the muzzle here. Draw a circle right here. And on top of that circle, draw his nose, her nose. So Caroline requested that our meerkat name is Nora. So I'd like to introduce you to Nora. And I'm gonna give it a side, like kind of a smirk. It's a little nervous. And right here in the middle, we're gonna do a circle. Do this middle on this side too. And we're gonna put its eyeball looking right here going, okay. They're a little paranoid. Don't want bad guy people to eat them. Now we're gonna be putting its ring around its eye. I have found out, did you see this dark ring around the eye? That is so when they are looking out in the sun, it doesn't have a glare. So it helps protect them not to have a glare. Like football players put the dark mark on their eyes. It helps them not have a glare. Look at that guy, so cute. We are going to erase our little plus sign. Okay, we're gonna draw over to make sure that we have these eyeballs. One thing that I found out about Caroline which is so cute. She's enjoying drawing that she did my otter and she did such a great job and loved it so much that she framed it and it's by her front door. And she says it's now a family heirloom. Pretty awesome. All right, we are going to do its ears. So its ears, you're gonna just have it come right off the back. So you want to smooth off the back and do the same thing on this side. And erase right in there so it looks like it's actually connected. And we're gonna give it some tufts of hair up here. One, two, three. Now on mine, I tried to make eyebrows going up. You can make them below or above. Mine look like caterpillars, but that's okay. So to make them not look like caterpillars, I'm either gonna put them up higher, I'll put them up higher so they're not touching. So it was like, whoop. Or you can put them down lower if you'd like. Your choice on where you want to put these. Okay, his head is done. Now he's got, they're very long bodies. We're gonna make a giant hot dog. And I want you guys to make that connect. So a race right in there. So it's looking like one. And their hands, they like to hold them if you look at pictures out there. So we're gonna make, this is like his shoulder coming out and then he's just gonna come down Look at that. And the little dark ends on the bottom. So this guy, this other side's just gonna go off on the other side. And erase right in here so it looks like it's part of it. And we can smooth this out. So instead of making it so harsh, just make it smooth. And we're gonna bring this tummy around here because this, this tummy part is lighter. We're gonna bring, so when this is coming over, kind of skip over it, but keep it going. And up, that's his tummy. All right, it's looking good. Back here, we've got some triangles. That's gonna go along his tail too. So to do his bottom part, I want you guys to come across like that. You guys see that? 
going to come down a little ways. We're going to be making his leg come out. They've got kind of strong legs to hold themselves up. And let's do the other side. Look at that. Now, a race in here, so it looks like it's part of this meerkat. They're all together. There we go, one body. You can smooth that out. You know what? I, I want this tummy to come down a little further like this one. So I am going to bring this part down farther. If you guys want to do that, great. There we go. I think that looks a little better. Now it's tail. I found out its tail is used, so we're gonna have it come off the, the back end to holding itself up. They like to stand upright like this, and their tail, their back tail is very thin, and it, it's just kind of like an anchor, and it holds them up. And they found out they come out in the morning, so put those little ends on there, hold on. Doot, doot, doot. We're gonna make its back paws dark, so make that line there. We're gonna put a little tuft of hair and I'm gonna get back to my story. Hold on, let's just get this part done. So we're on the grassland, and if you guys wanna put some grass in there, you can. So they live in the desert and grassland, so that's what's representing the desert and grassland. All right, get your Sharpie. Oh, we got a shadow down here too, if you want a shadow. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Shadow. Okay, so what I was saying, they stand upright. They get up in the morning at nighttime in the desert. At night, it gets freezing. So there, they come out of their little holes in the morning. The sunrise is starting to come over the horizon. And they pop up on their little back tail. And they look around. And why they're upright is that sun is beating down on their tummy because they've been cold all night because it gets cold in, during the evening time. It's super hot in the, during the day and at night, the temperatures drop. So the sun is beating down their tummy and it warms them up for the day. I mean, they're also popped up like this because they like to look for predators and see what's going on. Okay, I've got a song for you to play. This is my favorite song. If you guys have ever seen it, it's called Lion King One and a Half. Yes, there is a Lion King One and a Half and it's about meerkats and them living. So I'm gonna press play so you guys can listen. It is a crack up. Here we go. hilarious so if you guys have not seen lion king one and a half that's something you guys should do as a family because it is hilarious and it focuses on the part of it on the meerkats and it has them popping in and out of their tunnels it's hilarious so that was my movie recommendation for the day song of the day now that song is going to be stuck in your head all day long you're welcome Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Oh yeah, that's gonna be stuck in your head all day. You're gonna love it. Sing it to mom and dad, they're gonna love it, absolutely. All right, 
Do we have a joke? Yes, we do. Joke, please. What does a lion call a meerkat? Fast food. I have to explain it, it's not good. Also, one more. So, I had a meerkat come to me and tell me it liked another meerkat. And I said, go for it. Like, go for? <laughs> so funny. All right, our meerkat's coming along. Let's see, what else do we know about meerkats? I'm gonna go around the outside, just one coat, just the outside. Uh, a group of meerkats is called a mob, a gang, or a clan. Now I get the clan thing, but a mob or a gang, wow. Ooh, you know what, I do not want to Sharpie the, the, the grass. I started, but I don't want to do that. Anyways, I just was getting so excited about hearing about meerkats. But when you think of a mob or a gang, whew, a little dangerous there. But that's what the name are. I love how every group of the animal has their own little name of the group. And in their group, they usually have about 20 to 50 meerkats. And they're all together. Where do they live, you ask? Good question. Meerkats live in Africa and Asia. And since they are such great diggers, they live in burrows and tunnels under the ground. And if you watched Lion King one and a half, you will see them digging. Dig, 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 dig a tunnel. Dig, 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 dig a tunnel. I know, just had to make sure you got that still in your head. All right, what else do we learn about our lovely middle cats? Oh, okay, this is pretty awesome. In Melbourne, Australia, it's pretty far away, in their children's hospital, they have a meerkat exhibit. That means they've got an enclosure that has meerkats for all the kids to come and make them happy. It cheers them all up. Is that not awesome or what? So let's say the kids had to go to the hospital having a bad day. I realized in this one, I had a thinner Sharpie than this. I realized I need to get a new Sharpie. When the Sharpie gets a little too thick, it's time for a new Sharpie. Okay, so in at the hospital, they have meerkats. That's cool. That is cool. I know at a furniture store near my house, they have monkeys. Yeah, you go and look at furniture and you can see the monkeys. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the colors we're gonna use today, you're gonna get both types of brown. So we've got the light brown, we've got dark brown, I've got skin, is this skin color? skin color, uh, a little pink for the cheeks, and then for the ground here, we're gonna use yellow and green. It's a little different green, but that's okay. And if you wanna do the outside, you can. All right, those are our colors for the day. Oh, also a touch of gray, just a touch. Come on, Mr. Gray, okay. fantastic. So I'm gonna put those off to the side. I am gonna start with my dark brown. That's what's gonna go around the eyes. All right, we're gonna find out how long do meerkats live? So out in the wild, they live seven to 10 years. But in captivity, like in zoos and maybe in that hospital in Melbourne, they live 12 to 14 years. Hmm, you ask, well, why do they live longer? in captivity than they would in the wild. Can you guys kind of guess why that would be? Well, if you guys guess that in the wild, they don't have the same luxuries as they do in captivity because in captivity, like in a zoo, they get fed delicious meals. Um, nobody's gonna attack them, they're safe. And so there's nobody, no predators that are going to try to eat them. And so they're ta and they're taking really good care. They've got doctors and everybody making sure they're staying healthy. In the wild, they can't just say, hey, huh, mom, can you send me to the doctor? I have a sore throat, I'm not feeling very good. But they can do that. 
in the zoo. So that's why they live in longer. So I think most animals live longer when they're in the zoo. Now adults, do they live longer in captivity? I don't think so because it's called quarantine and people start going crazy in quarantine. <laughs> and they don't live as long because people need people. We need to hug people. It's hard to hug people when you're in quarantine. I know, I'm so funny. All right, we already learned about the heat and the bellies. We gotta learn a fun dig, 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 dig tunnel song. Absolutely. Oh, this we forgot at the end here. He's got a little dark tail end. So we're gonna put that in. And his feet are that dark brown color. And we'll do this side dark brown. Mm, anything else? No. So now we're gonna take our light brown and you're gonna go in softer. So you don't wanna go too hard on this so they look like they're a different color. So I'm just lightly coloring in the rest of our meerkat. Now a meerkat is, let's see, part of the mongoose family. So if you have a moment, look up a mongoose. They're very similar. Zephyr, in the mongoose family, everybody has fluffy tails. Guess who doesn't have a fluffy tail? The little meerkat, his tail is, is thin and fluffy. No fluff for that guy. I like to color one direction. All right, and they live, mongooses live in the grasslands and the desert. So as I, as I said, that's where they live burrowing deep below. Okay, now we're gonna go around the outside just to make it a little bit darker. This is gonna make it pop. Dig, 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 tunnel. Dig, 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 tunnel. Yep, gonna be singing that all day today, but not a problem because I love it. It's so fun. Dig, 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 tunnel. Dig, 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 tunnel. Hey, mom, can we watch Lion King one and a half today? Sure, honey. I actually like it better than Lion King. <laughs> That's how good Lion King one and a half is. You gotta watch it with your parents because they're gonna be cracking up. Because I think it is just as much for adults as it is for kids it is hilarious. The first time I watched Lion King was when it first came out and we went to this theater in Southern California. It's like <laughs> stories high. The screen, I think it's like four stories high and the theater holds a thou over a thousand people. It was ginormous. People were lined up for hours and hours. And people were out there having barbecues. They brought their barbecues while they're staying in line. There was one guy that was doing like meditation, yoga, and it was like a party. And then when we get inside, somebody had brought beach balls. Okay, you know, like it, you go to a sporting events and the beach balls are flying. Okay, these beach balls were rocking because they had to get a thousand people in there and they were just bouncing up and down. This was before the movie started, so don't worry. We didn't disrupt the movie. It was just everybody was getting their popcorn and soda and getting in their seat and getting ready and eating their jujubes and their milk duds. Milk duds are my favorite with peanut in them. And these bouncy balls were going everywhere. It was so fun. I mean, that was a party right there. Okay, we're gonna give our guy, oh, definitely need new. Can you guys see the difference on this Sharpie and this Sharpie? This is a new Sharpie. This is not a new Sharpie. Okay, realizing this thing's gonna go in the trash. Bye-bye. Yep, we're getting a new Sharpie. That one's dead. Okay, we're gonna take our gray and just go around the eyes a little bit. But I do love going to the movie theater. I love getting my popcorn and my soda and my milk duds that get stuck in my teeth. It's fantastic. It kind of like takes you, when you watch a movie, I don't know about you, it just takes you to another world. 
You just feel like you're like, yes, take me away. And you come back when you're done, you're like, all right, that was great. That was awesome. All right. So this is Nora. All right. Nora the meerkat. We're going to give it color in our grass. Don't forget to sing this song all day today. Everybody sing along. Dig, 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 dig a tunnel. Dig, 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 dig a tunnel. Dig, 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 dig a tunnel. All right, here we go. I'm going to let you guys finish this up. So you're going to color the yellow here, do a blue background. I hope you guys had a fantastic day.